Hey everybody, my name is Kim Ware and I'm your instructor for public speaking and presenting. This is my live event this afternoon to give you an overview of the course expectations. This is a really exciting time in this class because we just made some revisions to it that will help you get just a really um, better foundation, really better, that's not even proper grammar, but that's okay. It will help you get a better foundation in the content development of your speech. And instead of doing multiple speeches on different topics, you're gonna to be working in this class on one speech the entire time really working on developing your content, developing your slides, and then putting it all together in a final presentation at the end of the course. I think you're gonna find it refreshing, and I think you're gonna find that it helps you better narrow down your main points when you're giving a presentation to a client in whatever field you're going into, and then hammer out those main points within that larger goal of your conversation so that you can reach your goal at the end. So with that being said, I want you to complete your worksheets. I want you to complete your slides and get those sent in. I have a very lenient late policy. Of course, I want you to turn your assignments in on time. But if you need an extension, just let me know and I'm happy to work with you because learning is the most important thing. Now, another thing is public speaking is very stressful i get that if you aren't okay with it it can be a really stressful and anxious time for you and i want you to know that i'm the only audience who has to see anything that you're doing first of all second of all it's super easy to get an a in this class because as long as you do the work you're going to pass and you're going to get an a you are not being graded at all on your skill or your talent level in public speaking you are being graded on your ability to complete the work and turn it in the end. So don't worry about not feeling confident or comfortable with the act of public speaking. That's not where your grade is coming from. Speaking of grade, we have Yellow Dig in this class. Yellow Dig is a great tool for building community. When you write and talk about the things that you're learning, you're solidifying your learning, and you're also getting to know the other people in the class. You would not believe how many people I see that are like, oh, hey, we were in this module together, and hey, I recognize your name, I know you, and if that hasn't happened to you yet, it will. So that's why it's so important to get on Yellow Dig. Also, Yellow Dig is part of 20% of your grade, so it's a super easy 200 points just to get on and chat. We're all texting and instant messaging all the time anyway, so might as well do that on Yellow Dig and get some credit for it here. Whenever you answer a spark, I post those weekly sparks, they're like conversation starters. Whenever you post a response to that in your own plus pen, you're going to get a badge. And then to help drive conversation, anytime someone posts under you and you respond to them, I'll also give you a badge. So keep coming back to your posts, keep responding to people, keep building conversation because you're going to get a ton of easy points for that. And you're also going to increase the depth of your relationships here with other people at Brian and the depth of your learning. Now, I've told you a whole lot about what I expect from you. What can you expect from me? So from me, you can expect that I am your biggest advocate. I'm your biggest cheerleader. I want you to pass this course. I want you to do amazingly well and walk away and feel like you have gained something. With that being said, you can contact me anytime. You can use inbox. I have a Google voice number. You can call me and you can also text me. I try to respond to all inquiries within 24 hours, if not sooner. When you submit your assignments, you can expect that I will grade them within 72 hours. So if you submit something on Wednesday at 11 p.m., you get Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 11 p.m. is that 72 hour mark. So if I happen to exceed that or I miss something that you've done on Yellow Dig or in your assignment, just holler at me, let me know. I love it when students take ownership of their work and ownership of their grade and hold my feet to the fire just a little bit as well. I just, I'm really excited to do this class with you. I'm so excited for you to pilot this revised version. It is gonna be great.
<laughs> uh, so that's it. That is the course expectations. If you have any questions, just holler at me. I'm here for you. Thanks. Bye.